basically the definition of an edge case for PR calculations. But after this, it's probably going to kind of cement it. All right. We'll, uh, it's probably a little early to say that, though, because we, we do have one more big-ish event coming up with uh, uh, towards the end of April and then a few weeks left. So. Uh, our PR season will end at some point this month. I just don't remember exactly. Yet. The last time these two played, it started off, or at least one of their matches did, with 3 2 1 go, Thor F mashing, and Cookie Dick running into it. Yeah. That being said. So, Thor plays a Smash Stick. <laughs> and so sometimes he will get, like, Dash Pack to come out of Thor Smash. So it's not that he is trying to do that in a lot of cases, but sometimes he is. That is, that is what we call the Thor option. It is, it is the <laughs> Thor option. And I feel like, unfortunately for Thor, and he can prove me wrong here right now, I feel like Cookie Dick's the kind of player he normally struggles with. Someone who's playing the read based game and yeah. just like has some more range to him is really hard for him sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. But um, what I think is, the thing about Thor's play is that he's good at covering a lot of things, but if you play against him enough, I think you'll usually find him like one thing that there, you can get by him. And it can sometimes take a little bit to shut that option down. Not only that, but typically he focuses so much on that option if he does make that adaptation that he starts to leave multiple options open. Yeah. So, like, counter adaptation really hits him hard sometimes. So, that said, we're not even getting to that right now. Oh, we are just seeing Ike's Big Sword kind of beat out Cloud's Big Sword. Mm -hmm. A lot of options thrown out there, all of which had a chance to... Oh, that was a nice blade beam, though. Keeping column, knowing that, that, that is beautiful corner pressure right there. Beautiful corner pressure, and also a great duck by Cookie Tick. Yeah. Because, honestly, I don't think that was not crouch cancel. Yeah, honestly, yeah. a little shock that he managed to get out of that situation alive. Thor gets it back at the ledge here. Oh. Yeah, great way. Yep. The big laughs out of Cookie Tick. And he knew. Cookie's like, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna back there, me. I got him. No, no. Uh, that up smash is definitely the store out, yeah, by the way. But hey, exactly you see that it kind of worked, right? Because it scared Cookie Tick out of his landing and right. was able to pressure. And really brought him right back in this. Ooh, gets him back in. I think Thor has a really fascinating smash mind. I, I don't know any, really anybody else at this point who has the, the versatility with the number of smash games that he's like really good at it. He'll tell you that he's still a Smash 4 cloud. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's also a really uh, fantastic melee player uh, with Link of all characters. And a good PM uh, player. Yeah, player again with Link. Yeah. So. Yeah, the last one we had that was like multi games like that, we did it with Triple R and we thought of Dexter. Yep. But both of whom have kind of stopped playing. Eamon, uh, now going by Sweaty Jim. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> has been coming to a few more things of late, but yeah. yeah. It's been it's been a certainly not as active as he was in like early Smash. Back when he was a PM, I mean, But uh, Thor's been doing a beautiful job oh, using air cross slash. Real, that's real. Yeah. Uh, using blade beam to cover just beneath the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. Using both stocks up on this fight, and he's uh, in the lead. Thor's yeah. Yeah. Alert. Thor's plus. Thor's not winning. <laughs> <laughs> this has been updates with Jackie Peanuts. See you next time. Oh. Oh, that that was backer. I had a hard time picking out what that animation was, but yeah. I thought that Thor managed to kind of get through that. No, that was the only option fast enough for Cookie Tick to hit him there. It was beautiful. Yep. And great composure, because really, That's Thor was really, bringing that back. What if, what if Thor just jumps and does a limit option, man? <laughs> does jump cross slash. Jump finishing touch. Somehow does a jump up smash, because that's yeah, right, Thor. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Ooh, so, after oh. a really strong start from Cookie Tick, I wound up being a down to the wire game, so. Dip. Let's see what Thor can do here. I just... Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. I keep calling him Thor. It's fine. It's working. Uh, but yeah, apparently he is the... He's, I don't know if he's lightning parent all the time now. I'll have to ask him. He uh, has I'll have to, all of these. Yeah, I'll have to ask him what he wants on the uh, top eight. I called him Thor on the last one. I think he won't care, to be honest. I also got to get... Uh, how dare you? I know. Oh, you gotta get it right. Yes, sir. It's important. Okay. Are you saying I someone see. would jump limit option from ledge? Exactly. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a. Oh. It, it really is something important to think about, though. It like, is. Does your character? What does your character have that's unreactable off ledge? And I don't know if cross slash is unreactable, but 
with the intentionality. Hitting it is probably unreactable. Oh, Thor. Oh, yeah, you're both dead. And I think Honestly, it's not that bad. Though. Both are kind of fine with that, probably. Yeah. Thor lost a little bit of an advantage, but yep. still, though. And that is so hard to do with. Because you're used to, yeah. after someone pressuring, you're still being able to jump away. Cross slash hits so high, you can't. Yep. Ooh. Forward smash pad, yeah. The activity on Thor's the angle actually. of it was so smart. So Thor has always been an advocate for this stage, but I, I definitely see why he was just kind of Oh, that's low nasty. profile. Oh, and, and the there, yeah. had Cookie Tick gone high enough to grab, I'm pretty sure that downward up he would have killed him. Uh, Thor was talk, talking to you either last week or two weeks ago, I can't remember which, about Labyrinth. And yeah. it's cool to see that in practice, even though he didn't actually end up needing it there. Uh, insurance, you know, you always take the insurance. Man. Look at how look oh, at the man. lead that he's got right now. It's huge. And, and the only stock that he lost was the, the suicide. Yeah, and I don't think Cookie Tick should yeah. allow Thor to come back here. If not only because of the tilt on those ledges, Here's like the other that thing, thing, though. He has to ban all three of the um, planet stages. Because he's going to get this on Yoshi's Brawl and Yoshi's uh, melee. Really? That probably should be his bans because that's been a large well he won't have to you won't have to ban Lila next time. That's true. It's DSR. And there yeah. it is again. Okay, so it didn't work. I think he was a little too close I think so to the lead yeah. there. Just slightly misspaced. I, I think it is the right idea. I mean it looked like it could have been very nasty. Okay. Still yeah, not tech. taking it. Thor even with the percent lead, he is live this time. Oh man, barely. Got the run up grab. I'm so expecting the up smash. Or, it looks also, okay, back here we'll take it. It looks also like Thor is strategically putting his limit like just at the ledge, just at the edge of the like, going off. So he can keep doing the non limit blade <laughs> game off the side there. I mean, it's, so it's been great really counter tech. Smart. It's yeah. been really, really good. And after like a pretty convincing game one from Cookie Tick, like he's actually thinking now. You can yeah. see this. It's not the same game anymore. It's flat stage, I would assume, is coming up. Start battle. But what? Back to something, maybe? I feel like Cookie Tick probably wants... If Thor leaves Smash will open, I bet we're going there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, Otherwise, Battlefield is an option, even though I know Cloud likes it. Three, All right, there we go. Two, one, so I'm going to assume that Smash will open. And I suppose... I still think Yoshi's Brawl would not be a great pick for Cookie Tick because of the slant, but the platform on Yoshi's Brawl leads to so many games throw makes up for it. And it so. gives him an extra. It doesn't, it doesn't really provide an extra recovery option. Yeah. These platforms kind of do. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it's a good pick, but the thing is, this is still a great uh, cloud stage. It's great music. Target smash. It'll get old pretty quick, but for now, I'm having fun. Ooh. Just missed. Okay. I appreciate the aggressiveness there from Thor, especially with the new limit. Uh, the legally allowed to leave right now. That was probably his best chance for a kill in that second stretch. Uh, can't get the grab, yeah. Spot dodge on landing, too effective. Cookie Tick actually just missing a couple parries that I think he was going for yeah. to set some of that up. Again, Thor paying for the Thor option there. The up smash is really not working. But still got Cookie to get 180%. And Limit about to come online here. Next hit. Either way, I think. Yep, there it is. Not gonna save him. Okay. Nope. I thought the weight buff might do it. It's gonna be close. But this is second time down done smash, that. spot dodge, down smash. I mean, not only that, the down smash is low profiling the grab. Exactly. It gets a grab in there. The, uh, I'm pretty sure that first hitbox is all yeah. yeah, we got the true combo fair cross slash. Back air. Oh, man, great coverage. When Thor's reading that jump, I think I'd really like to see, yeah, the Nair instead of the forward air, because the, it's faster, it hits higher. And the forward air is going to get beat by quick draw. Nair might not. Yeah, that's a good time. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> All of that, yeah, you're going to get punished on quick for that. I'm wondering why the forward smash there from Cookie. He's got actually longer range, faster moves, but he keeps going for the forward smash. I'm not sure if he's sending a message, or if he's remembering last time when he got like three forward smashes on. Lightning Baron. Ooh. Drifting on stage too to get the landing hitbox. Thor's so good at placing his back ears on shield and then getting to the right spot. Like, yeah, those moves are mostly safe, but if you don't if you don't drift smartly, like make sure you get to like back here, then it's not actually that useful. I would say that play beam is also a Thor option. Yeah, but also that that's also kind of a function of the new the new yeah. limit. Um, 
again, kind of an instance of that, any limit move that he hit with was going to kill there. That's way deems the safest, and he's probably about to run out of it anyway. So. But yeah, that's that's an important thing. It kind of sounds like we're calling him an idiot. It's a core option, but we're not. No, it's, it's a just smart in a way that we're not used to seeing. It's a counterintuitive option for a lot of Smashers that like works, especially um, those of us who have been more on the Smash Four side. Here. The very few of us who have been around, well, us, I can't say us, <laughs> the very few of the Smash Four crowd that were also around. The right. The us there was supposed to be the Smash Four, but yeah. And we got the spike into the up air. And now look at Thor. Yeah, he's up a stock again, nearly lapping 50 tickets. Has limit, had limit. Yep, just one kind of uh, overhyped jump there. But he's still in such a good spot here. Back here. Yep, great pressure. The corner pressure is still living, though. He is not dead. And then when this man has life. Pick, yep. I think something that's important is we haven't really seen an edge guard out of Cookie Tick. Like, yeah. Yeah. And this, that, that right there is basically the corner pressure that we see from Cookie Tick all the time, where he back airs the shield and punches the shield and the ground out to the Try and jump into the back air at short hop height, you know, all these kinds of things. And that's exactly the kind of thing that we saw Lightning Fair and Thor doing on both the ledges uh, in that game. I think the one time Cookie Tick got out of it reasonably well is after like a hit or two, he just crouched. And yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, harder that's right, hitbox right. to hit than giving you more you get hit, you might not die. Right. Yep. Yeah, Crouch Cancel is a really, really strong effect in this game, but I have not seen it come to uh, matter too much. No. That was one of the first so. few times. But yeah, I, I really wonder what's going through Cookie Tick's head here, because I bet he was, think he was thinking, at, especially after game one, all right. Bring on, bring on Scorpio. Loser's Finals, yeah. bring on that run back. Um, but he's, I mean, got a, he's got a hill to climb. Here. If I were him, it would be, how can I get Cloud off the stage? Yeah. Because we have not really seen any edge guards, and that's normally how Cloud loses. Yeah, I think he's got to be a little more careful in his shield. A lot of the same things that he punishes is what he's getting punished for now. So I know that he's certainly capable of thinking about it in that way, right? Yeah. But you just kind of have to turn it around and settle it. Okay, yeah. Lightning Fair not allowed to really do anything about that upbeat. No, that back air. Will force the limit. Yep. I like, I like the attempt to at least get some damage there. Yeah, side B. Pretty safe. What a jab. Yeah, right? Oh, man. This is much cleaner from Cookie Pick. I think and this is exactly what I mean about that back air pressure, right? You see it? Yeah. And the thing is, Cookie Dick's actually been struggling to find socks. You know, he's got many set of toys. Almost all of them kind of start like this, and then Thor just brings it back and takes a kill. Great down tilt there. I don't think he had too many other options for a guaranteed punish. And now you can see Cookie Dick's looking for something, but like, at this percent, he can't really get it, and Thor's just playing safely. That one sounds like it hurts so much. Fine. And Thor just knowing what options he has and what he can, what he kind of cannot do, and they're all the way back to even. Point six percent. Yep. That up tilt. Not. I'm surprised it was that minus though. Yeah. No, I did not expect them to make that up to a And a great option there by Thor. And this. That's is not a Thor option. Though. No, by the way, that's just enough. To that. that was a beautiful reaction. Yes. And, and once again, he's got a pretty big advantage. He's got limit at the moment. Got him at the ledge. And here's these back airs. Yep. Didn't have the right read. But that, it, that was the same kind of pressure that we've been talking about this whole time, but if he had done it the other way, he would have hit. Would have killed. Or didn't jump forward. Yeah. Or full Oh, hunt. yeah, good, good call. He had a lot of options there to make it work. Just, uh, just out space, unfortunately. Okay. Quarter spikes. Yep. Oh, dash attack, hoping to catch him dropping shield, but if this is scary. How do you get down? That was the thing. That was that. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what Thor's been doing. He's just throwing hitboxes on the platform, really making Cookie to struggle. Ooh, that felt like a little bit of a greedy option there, but maybe he was running out of limit. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know. Does the Climb Hazard have the same hitbox on the way up? I thought the strong one was really at the base. At 150 and that high up, I think that's a fair point. This is it. Ooh, ooh, that dash attack going. 
Alright, up throw not. Didn't actually look particularly close there, so probably gonna be a bit before we can get a grab to kill for Cloud. Koki didn't just barely waiting. Oh, oh, this! Oh, yep, air up air. Surprising to go for back there. More damage in stage position. Clip. Oh, the forward tilt. Just turn around forward tilt. Okay. Cookie Tick has closed the gap a bit from where we were a stock ago. Mm -hmm. So I think he's got it. He should actually feel okay about where he's at right now. But he's got to get the stock pretty quick. Yeah, I was going to say before stop. the four there start coming in. Shield pokes with neutral air and Thor just running around. This man just throwing out moves because they're safe. Oh man, he was feeling himself a lot. Now, the, the minute that he got one there, he's like, is he gonna, is he gonna go for this? Yes, he, he slapped him. Yep. I mean, that was the only thing I could have killed there. Yep. Just gonna throw yeah, it out. and again, he was probably closer to the Oh no. Is that meant to be an up beam? Just this high one to up air onto the stage. I bet he thought he was high enough that he could do it. But um, regardless, this is really bad yeah. look for Cookie Dick at the moment. He gets in the corner with all these back yeah, trying again. to catch the jump, but Cookie Tick staying calm and patient. That's pretty impressive in the spot, man. And Thor looking a little less sure of it. Before yes. it was back air, back air, and like oh, a high one. Or something. Up air. Yeah, great recognition of the shield, uh, the shield health or lack thereof from Cookie Tick. But and the mix up of Nair and Fair is really doing a number on Cookie Tick. He's trying to parry something, and then Thor will throw out the other option and he'll get hit for it. Yeah, I wonder how big the difference in frames is. It's probably substantial. Oh, that's such a good landing up there. What are we playing six right there now? It is. And the shield poke on the Yep. On the back here, but again, I mean you see Cookie Tick shake his head. That's that's what like, you do. Yeah. Like shield pressure right there. It's the same thing that he's been doing to us since the game came out, but oof. Yeah, you can tell that's kind of painful for him. I'm starting to wonder if bat or Battlefield wasn't the pick. Those yeah, platforms no, seem to hinder him more than they helped him. Which is weird because, like, that's we were both thinking that that.